Shakespeare requires all of you. It requires your human experience, your knowledge. Coy and Selen, and now I find Report a very liar. It's for everybody. It's dirty, it's angry, it's joyful, it's wonderful. He was writing about love and hate and fear and anger and joy. Right, and even more, more specifically, he was capturing a feeling that either everybody wants to have or has had one time and wants to have again. Slow-winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? Aye, for a turtle as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp in faith. You are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. Well, my well so Hamlet's and Dead was founded in 2013. No, no, what we do is we wasp, are performing all of Shakespeare's works so, in the order that he wrote them. We wanted to make so great Shakespeare that we knew we could do, and that just means we have to do it ourselves. And this the cranny is, right and sinister, through which the fearful lovers are to oh, whisper. whisper. Oh, 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 wait, sorry, wait, wait, can we do that again? Sorry, that, wait, if you just build to that, so you're getting really excited, and then you be more off text, I think. Okay. That's what I meant. Cool. You can't do that, stop, uh, and then move on. Great, great. Yeah, great. that's better. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. When I was sick, you gave me bitter pills. Now I must minister the life to you. We're a very audience interactive theater company, so I really enjoy being able to have that interaction with, with the, the folks watching and, and bring them in a little. I think audiences really connect to when the actors are having fun. Oh sweet, a lovely wall. Whoa! That stands between her father's ground and mine. They're like, I want to have fun too. And Hamlet isn't dead, really likes to have fun. Show me thy jig to blink through with my nine. Ah! Ah! What Hamlet is in Debt has really started honing in on is bringing out the joy and irreverence in any piece. A true devoted pilgrim is not weary to measure kingdoms with his evil steps. And when we kind of step into the joy and involve other people in it, the joy is there, and then you can't help but get swept up in it. Shakespeare was writing for his audience, and he was telling them a story, and it was right at them, right for them. And we do the same thing. Say that she frowned, then I'll say she looks as clear as morning roses, newly washed with dew. Shakespeare wrote in mostly blank verse. Blank verse is the fancy name for unrhyming iambic pentameter. Iambic, meaning it's written in badam, so it's unstressed followed by stressed. Pentameter means five feet or ten beats to a line. Yeah, so it's on a heartbeat. It goes ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. You take a line of Shakespeare and you add it to it and you get, Oh, be thou Diane, and let her be Kate, and then let Kate be chaste, and Diane sportful. Where did you learn all this goodly speech? <laughs> it is extempore from my mother wit. Huh, woody mother, witless else, her son. You know, he'd write many, many lines in that exact same rhythm. Then, every once in a while, he'd throw in a different one. If you strike me, you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, why then, no arms. Oh, Harold And when you have lines written like that, when they're in succession from each other, and there are changes in that rhythm, you can sense there's a shift in the character. If she denied a wed, I'll crave the day when I shall ask the bands, and when be married. Ah! Here she comes. And now, Petruchio. Speak. It's still just people talking, and they don't use the same words that we use, and they don't speak in the same way, but the ideas and the emotions are still still very human emotions. He jests at scars that never felt a wound. But soft, but light through yonder window breaks. We had Romeo and Juliet. We had Romeo uh, seeing Juliet for the first time. It's a very famous Juliet piece, but you know, for a reason. It's just this amazing expression of love and of New love and young love. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love! Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks yet she says nothing. Well, I think the arts in general, and in theater specifically, it, it holds a mirror up to life. So it reflects things that we see around us. It can make subtle commentaries about the things that we experience on a day to day, but in, in sometimes a more approachable way. Crazy things happen in contemporary life every day of Greek proportion, literally. The fact that Shakespeare has put it down on paper and things like this keep happening over and over again in human history, it makes him feel, no matter what time period you're in, it makes him feel relevant. There's a reason the plays have been done for hundreds of years, that they're very universal and approachable stories. 
So he's, he's timeless in that sense. For I am he, I'm born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. <laughs> <laughs>